average golfer steps up to the plate. Will he knock it out of the park? Probably not because we're on a course. Right then, so I did say the sun was going to come out and it's trying, but I'm not really bothered whether the sun shines or not because we've just arrived at Torre Cabrada Golf Club and uh, it's got the wow factor this place. It is very, very nice. It's uh, Benel Medina. We've just travelled from a hotel we're staying in, in Torre Molina, so I'll show you a guided tour around there a bit later. But look at this. That's what we've just been met with when you come off of the, or outside of the clubhouse, onto the balcony. That's a look down the 18th pretty special eh? certainly makes you want to uh, get out there and have a game of golf Seve Ballesteros has played at this place they've had the Spanish Open on the uh, Torre Cabrada Golf Club and now they've got the average golfer so uh, can't wait to get out there play some golf hopefully a few good shots as well and uh, as ever I'll give you my opinion and a little bit of a tour around this place actually at Torre Cabrada. Um, at the moment Matt Fryer is filming a little bit of a uh, course. Well, we've got a skins match going on. We've got uh, Pete Finch, he's, he's going to film the back nine, uh, some competition there as well. To be fair, first six holes, very very nice indeed. Uh, quite dramatic as you can see from that way. And then before I disappear off camera, it's quite humid at the minute, sun has come out, but I'll just walk up here as well and uh, Let's have a look at this. Let me spin this around a bit. This is the tee we're coming to. So I don't know what this is. A par? Yeah, it's a par four. All the way down there is the uh, green, which we can't quite see. It's tucked over the water. I'll show that in a second or two. See in the distance, what an interesting looking golf hole. But uh, to be fair, yeah, quite well. I say quite, very impressed so far with Torre Cabrada. Nice squeezy fade here, I'm feeling. Right, I just walked up here to show you the, uh, this is the 12th hole, it's a par 5, 
I think it's stroke five. It's all uphill from the tee shot. Played it from the back white. Look at that backdrop there. Played it from the back white, landed into this upslope. And uh, where you end up going is just over that brow there. Super par five. Really tight all the way. A bit of room off the tee shot, but then it starts to narrow up when you get down to that end of things. But yeah, as I said when we last spoke, really impressed with Torek Prada. Well done, Pete. You're a gentleman. No, no, no. Andy, you don't understand. I gave you that. Oh, pick it up, Pete. No, 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 no. If you want to it's good for me, mate. It's good for me. Legitimately. None of these half-hearted ones. Right. I'm staying out. I'm just an innocent bystander in it all. Okay, so I've moved hotels. I am in uh, still a Sol Hotel, a media hotel. This is Don Pablo in uh, pretty much Torremolinos, I would say. Um, been out at Torre Cabrada today, as you know. I didn't quite get a chance to finish off a, a bit of a roundup from there, but all I can say, and you'll get the gist from the pictures, I think, is that it's a pretty damn decent golf course, that is. I loved it. Um, sort of a cross between every hole was really stunningly beautiful hole. A little bit of forgiveness for the sort of average golfers out there but also plenty tough enough to put you to the test as well. The Torre Gabrara was really top draw for me, really enjoyed it, special, special golf club. Um, so now it is off to, uh, so all we get on these trips is literally, and don't get me wrong, I'm not asking for sympathy, it's 15 minutes in, shower, quick change, and we're now back off to Malaga. A little walk around Malaga, so hopefully pick up some footage there, and then uh, we're back into some nice restaurant that they've put on for us and it's been great I mean again uh, I don't know what I've mentioned on every video and I should do is that uh, we've got to thank Costa del Sol Tourist Board and Glencore Golf for all of this because they put on a fantastic trip it's been non-stop and it's been very very enjoyable and we've still got a little bit of it to go so I'm off into Malaga <laughs> Right, so we've just arrived on the rooftop of a Marriott Hotel, which has got the most amazing view of the whole of Malaga, I think. The rooftop, AC Hotels and Marriott. Wow. This is pretty amazing. Wow, what a place to see this place from. This is the place to see Malaga from. What a view. Look at that boat in the harbour there. Nice looking down by there, right the way along the harbour front there. Plenty of places to eat in restaurants, I assume. Not been down there. This looks so nice by night. I can't get over how good this view is. This is so this almost a 360 view you get from up the top of here. So that is Malaga's Cathedral from uh, from back on the ground. That's what we were looking down on a few minutes ago from uh, on the top of there. Stunning piece of architecture is what I would describe that as. Wow. Very nice. So a great help from, uh, we've got Matt Fryer, Peter Finch, and this is Placido, who has uh, been showing us around these last few days. It is so strange how you visit a city. Well, this is a city centre, obviously, and you don't... Well, I didn't expect this from Malaga. It's amazing. You just get some preconceived ideas of places. I've just seen Malaga as an airport city. I just didn't realise it was going to have this kind of architecture. All Roman ruins. Amazing. So much history um, in this city of Malaga.
my final clip from this break and uh, it's been a really enjoyable break and a different side to Costa del Sol I have to say it's great to finish off this last clip in the sun which is uh, what you'd expect from Costa del Sol we've had a bit of rain the last few days uh, but it hasn't changed the experience one bit to be honest yet and it has been an experience I've seen a different side to Costa del Sol First of all, let's just talk about this Hotel Salt at Don Pedro in Torremolinos. Really nice hotel, it really is. Uh, very, very uh, clean, very modern, um, very enjoyable stay, even though it's only been for the one night at uh, Salt Don Pedro, but very nice. So this is in Torremolinos, about 20 minutes from Malaga Airport. Um, biggest shock for me was last night going into Malaga. Uh, how you've got preconceived ideas somewhere. I thought Malaga was simply at an airport I've just flown into Malaga and then gone off elsewhere but Malaga as a city centre was unbelievable as you've seen from uh, the comments I made last night really enjoyed that trip there um, and I hope the whole thing for me uh, the whole trip for me has shown that there's a whole lot more to Costa del Sol than just what I've known in the past um, which was about I knew there's a lot of good golf courses here I always had uh, uh, plenty of bars and fun and drinks and uh, but there is a lot, lot more to the Costa del Sol and I hope in these videos I've done over the last few days it's shown you a little bit of that other side to this area and if I haven't done then I've failed miserably. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching all the content. Hope you've enjoyed all the videos over the few days. Comments down below. Subscribe if you don't already. I've been working with Matt Fryer and Peter Finch. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you know those guys but subscribe to their channels as well. There's some great content that they've come up with over this last few days as well and it's been a really good trip so like I said as ever thanks for watching unfortunately the sun's coming out and I've got to get on a plane back to the UK where it's probably pouring down with rain see you soon